I am on Battelle Darby Creek property on an old dead end road. Um, the road is called Biggert, B I G G E R T, I believe, off of London Groveport. If you're on London Groveport and you hit Biggert Road, it goes north and south. You want to take the north, north way, which says dead end road, and it'll bring you back to here. You come back maybe a quarter of a mile. And the road stops, and there's a gate, and you, you can park there and then walk back the rest of the way. Uh, this road will take you down to the river eventually. There's houses at the beginning of the road, but after you hit the parking lot where you park and stuff, um, I have, this is not my first time back here. I have never seen any houses back in here. I imagine maybe back in the day, there probably was. Uh, and they've done some work back here too. You can see the asphalt here from the road. A couple years ago, you couldn't see the asphalt. Um, they've been back here doing some work, I'm not sure why. And they've cleared a lot of this road off because I'll put a picture or something, or I'll, one of my older pictures of this and show you it's basically just a little path down the center uh nature basically was reclaiming this road and it was pretty much covered already with uh vegetation and dirt and everything they've cleaned it out what this is it's an out and back i can't remember how far it's not really that far um it's an out and back um but there is sort of like a loop down near the river. I've never really walked all the way around the loop. Usually I've just gone down to the river and back. But there's a loop down there where you can go around. Uh, also, eventually when you walk back here, you're going to come to a fork. And the asphalt stops. I don't know if it's still under there and it's just... It, nature took it all over or what. Um... But you can continue on. Uh, the, like I said, I never did the loop. And the fork, I am going to guess, is basically the loop. I've always stayed and continued straight down to the river. And then I've just turned around and come back. But I think today I might try to do the loop and see how it is. If you go to the right at that fork, it'll take you into a field. Which I imagine I'll probably loop back around and connect back up with the other other uh, path. Um, so I'm going to try that loop today. Just because I've never done it. But this is a nice little hike. Don't ever see anybody back here. Uh, I know during hunting season there is hunting on the right side. Uh, this is Metro Park property. So you're not trespassing. They actually got a little parking lot. Up there where you can park probably fit like maybe eight ten cars so you're allowed back here it's not on the map as a as a trail and like that it's just nice back here if you want to do a hike and you want to do a hike where you don't see anybody come back here and hike this One time there's cars traveling this little road here. Back when I first came back, I tried to do a little research on it. And I really couldn't find any old photographs. I might try it again. Um, see if I can find any pictures of some of the old houses back in here. So many times I've been back here, I've actually ran into one person. He was a local guy out here walking his dog. That's the only person I've ever ran into back here. I don't think a lot of people know about this little cool little dead end road.
And some of these too, some of this work that they've done, I don't remember that. And there's another one up there, closer towards the beginning. I think I may follow them. Check them out and see where they go. I'll do that on my return trip back. See something in the woods over there, I don't know what it is. All right, here's where I told you it splits off and the pavement ends. At least it appears to end. It could be under this grass. And I usually go that way and then I turn around and come back. But I think this is just a loop. I'm gonna check it out today. But this is where it continues on. And like I say, this will eventually take us down to Big Darby Creek. Okay, I have reached Big Darby. And it also seems like the trail I took ends right here, which is, is I think is why I, before in the past, just come back here and turn around and went back out. I don't see where it can continue. This doesn't look like the trail here. Definitely not. So, and as I remember in the past, I believe that's why I never did the loop, is because it did end right here. So, we're going to go back to where that split was at, and we're going to go the other way and see where that, that one goes that direction then. So that answers my question, because I wasn't sure why I always did it out and back, and why I, didn't, why I never completed the loop. And now I do remember that it's because this basically just ended. So, we're going to go back and catch the other one. Take that one and see where it goes. I never noticed this here before. I guess it's just like a little little bridge, if you want to call it that. It's not that obvious. I would really like to know though if there is any I mean at least foundations or whatever back in here. I've been watching since right now is the time to see it because no leaves on the trees, but I mean, it's so thick and dense, even if there was something back there, a house or whatever, it'd be so hard to find because it's probably old, so it's going to be brown, no paint, whatever, and it's just going to blend into the all this vegetation, which is brown, so I've been trying to look. I've talked to the rangers. They're not aware of any old houses or whatever back in here. But it'd be cool if there was. Alright, we'll be back when I get back down here to the, uh, where the trail divided. All right, we're back to where the trail split up. That way it'll take us back 
to the car. I thought I saw somebody down there. So we're gonna go this way now. I want as many times I've been back here, I've never really gone this way. Okay. Talk to him, he's out here walking his dog. He said this here goes to the field, which I know what field he's talking about. I've been in that field before. And then it just basically winds around and ends. So this is gonna be an out and back too. It doesn't go nowhere. But I still wanna follow it. But I know what field he's talking about. I have been in that field, but I've entered that field from the other trail that we were just on. But he must be a local because uh, there's no other vehicles out there. I'm the only one parked out there, so he must be somebody that lives in the area. I asked him if he's ever been back here before. He says it's been a while, but he has been back here. Well, he said he was looking for a way to the water. There's the river right there, creek. I wonder if he didn't see that. I told him if you take the other one, the other trail, I said, that'll take you to the creek. But I can see the creek right there, so, because he was trying to get to the water. He must not have been looking very good because it's like right there. Water's right here. Keep following this and see where it goes. may just end right up here. Yep. No, it doesn't. Continues around. Got my boots on. I looked at my map where I've walked, and this is right now we're heading in the direction of the main trail we came in. So this may bring us back out, maybe to where that section is I saw mowed. Oh, we got a division, another split in the trail here or what? Okay. That I'm gonna guess is gonna take us back out to the main trail. But before I go that way, I want to see what this goes to. Now, 
grass here looks short, but I'm gonna tell you, they don't mow this unless they just started. So in the summer, this grass is gonna be about knee high. I heard a woodpecker. Uh, as I was saying, this grass is about knee high in the summer. I've never seen them mow it. It's just short right now because you know, coming out of winter. This may just take us back down to the river creek. Okay. Looks like this trail here ends right here. Yep. So this is the end of this one. Creek's just right over there. So we're gonna turn around, go back, and then go off that other direction, like I say, which I think is gonna take us back over to the main trail. Okay, we're back to this junction here again. Remember we came from that way. And I expected this way is gonna take us back out to the main trail. So now we're gonna follow this. But like I said, I seen a mowed path there. And this, uh, I'm gonna assume is where this is gonna come out at. So the first one we took was uh, out and back. It just did end. Then we come back and we took the other direction, and that appears to be a loop. Okay, here we are. Uh, but this is not the mode path I was talking about. We are coming back out to the beginning where I'm parked at. I did not see that paved path that I was talking about, or cut mode path. Um, so maybe it was a little bit further back up where, from where we come back out onto the main trail, which tells me that that path was within, inside the loop we made. So being that it was inside the loop, it didn't really go anywhere, so I wasn't really that pressed about it. I remember they used to keep this gate here shut. I remember having to go around it. This is the hill, and the parking lot's right at the top of the hill. I don't know what this is. I'll walk back just around the curve and see. I'm not gonna follow it because I am not into walking on these large rocks. Somebody gonna build a house back here maybe? Hey, we'll walk up to the top of the hill right there so I can see. And then that's all. Unless I can see something cool back here to walk. Maybe, maybe somebody's gonna build a house back here. And I don't remember this before. But these stones, I'm gonna say if they did this so they can get some heavy machinery back in here without sinking. So, what's the plans back here? Alright, well, we're at the top. Stone stop. Now, 
That just sort of like has my curiosity. <laughs> Let's go back a little further. I'll tell you what, somebody is going to build a house back in here. This looks like a nice spot for it. down that way and watch this way got a big old clear in here no Henry no heavy machinery back here though so there's nothing actively going on. down here and around because it looks like when I turned into this clearing that the road actually went down here a little further and I saw some more rocks that were coming back out of that. See we came in right there. This goes for a little ways, it looks like. Still following this. I wasn't even going to go this far. Remember at first I was just going to go around the curve, then to the top of the hill. But it's got my curiosity up of why this is here. What are they, what are they going back to? It's got to hit the creek eventually. I mean, at some point it has to hit the creek. And it looks like the creek's just right up here. Well, this looks like the destination here, maybe. Well, it looks like it goes off to the right up here along the creek. Clearing over here. Okay, this is interesting. I wonder what they're doing here. I 
I'm gonna have to uh, call a ranger and ask him what they're doing back here. So I'm gonna go build a house back here, or maybe a couple houses, like a family. I mean, they're definitely clearing this out for something. They just ain't clearing it out just because they want to clear it out. So I'll find out what this is. And uh, I'll put it in the description box below. Got all these root balls out here. I mean, was this a field? And maybe they're trying to um, reforest it. And they're gonna throw these uh, root balls in the ground. I mean, I'm not in the forestry or anything like that, so I don't know. I mean, there's some cut trees over there. over there but so this is what's going on back here I'll see if I can find out what they actually are going to do Maybe the ranger will tell me so I'm gonna head back to the car all right I found out what they're doing here they are actually building a wetland back here um, so they're going to be doing some planning and some other things this summer. So I'm not sure why there's two open fields. If both of them are going to have a wetland or what. Or if it's just this last one where the root balls are sitting. I didn't really get in that much detail with the ranger. Um, but he says they're uh, building a wetland back in here. So that's going to be really cool. It'll probably take a couple of years for it to get done. But uh, I'll come back here when it's done. And do another video, an updated video. So that is what's going on back here. It's a future wetland. <laughs>